dropped me! <gasps> Don't believe who I met next. Why, if it isn't a little meow, what's your name? Sagwa, and who, who are you? I am Senlong, the Rain Spirit Dragon. I live far up in the clouds, but I like to come down to Earth from time to time too. Wow, you met a dragon? Come on, you weren't saved by a dragon. Was too, and he said... Oh, look at you. You're covered in pine sap and bark bits. I'm sorry, Sagwa, but that stuff will just not wash out. I'm going to have to give you a little fur cut. What's it like having fur? Must be nice and warm in the... <laughs> What? Rain spear dragons don't spit fire. Well, well, this one did. And fire is very dangerous in the woods. <gasps> oh, my. Dreadfully sorry. Don't know what got into me. Maybe your fur. You set a fire. The trees are as dry as kindling this time of year. That fire could spread to the whole forest. <gasps> Oh dear, what do we do? What do we do? I know. Fly down to the sea, get a big mouthful of water, and spray it all over the fire. Great idea! And you're coming with me. And I steered Sen Long by his ears as we zoomed. Hey, what's up? Sago was kidnapped by two bats, and then a dragon sneezed and set fire to a tree. And now they have to fly to the sea. Whoa, and... whoa, whoa, back up, back up. Kidnapped by bats? What bats? She'd rather not talk about it. It was most horrible. And when she told them you were her best friend, they laughed. Well, that's really rude. They shouldn't laugh at you just because your best friend is a bat. No, they were laughing at you, Fufu. What? Me? Who were they? Fifu and Fofu? No, no, there weren't really any. I know. It was Fumfu and Fatfu, wasn't it? No, no. I. That was my call for the brave Fufu fighters. Don't worry, Sagwa. We'll find Fumfu and Fatfu and punish them good. Oh, no. Wait, I don't want anyone punished because of me. After what they did to you, Sagwa, the magistrate should order them never to enter the village. And they should be sent to bed without their suppers. I... I wasn't really kidnapped. What about tea for supper anyway? I... <laughs> you don't want to know. I... I mean, if there's anyone to be punished, it should be me. I know. I'll make them clean the bat cave from bottom to top. And boy, does it need it. Fufu, I was not kidnapped by any bats. I'm... Not kidnapped by bats? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. You can't talk. Those bats are still around here, aren't they? Huh, glad you got my message. We got a couple of bad bats in the area. You all spread out. Check the bamboo bushes, the lotus pond... Oh! The... Stop! Stop! There are no bad bats, no dragon, huh? no fire. I was so embarrassed about the holes in my fur that I made it all up. And once I started, I, I just couldn't stop. You... you lied to us? You mean, I called in the foo, -foo fighters and there's no one to fight? <laughs> Of course, I knew you were making it up all along. Fire-breathing dragons. And just why did those make-believe bats of yours laugh at me? I'm sorry, Fufu. I... I... Wait, how did it end? What? How did what end? Did you and Shenlong go to the sea in time to put out the fire? <sighs> there is no ending, Shigua. 
It never happened. Like Dongwa said, I was just lying. Well, you're not now. I mean, if we all know it's made up, the rest of it won't be a lie. Just a good story. A really great story. By the way, Sagwa, how did you really get those holes in your coat anyway? Sagwa, are you all right? We just overheard Cook tell Tai Tai he had to cut patches off your fur. What on earth happened, dear? I did the margin and salt water and a clay pot exploded all over me. Wow! A clay pot exploded all over you? Did, did a dragon do it? No, no dragon. And no bats either. So what happened? Tell me! Tell us! Well, there I was in the village, watching a potter turn a pot on his wheel. It went round and round and round and round and suddenly... Achoo! Bam! <laughs> Blobs of clay flew right at me. Nowhere to hide. I was hit. Blob! 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 Bl